Now, in other news, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to provide you guys a bit of an update as it pertains to the Bayonetta voice actor situation. Just to recap, in the last couple weeks, we found out that the studio behind Bayonetta, uh, I believe it's Platinum Games, didn't want to pay their voice actor uh, a level wage or or for her work, for her labor, um, which what which is uh, was about I believe four thousand dollars at the time. It came out after that uh, the, vo the the VA was offered. Three to four thousand for five sessions of work, amounting to anywhere between fifteen to twenty grand. Which, 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 I want to remind everybody, is not a lot of money for like is still like for voice acting. Like, it's still they're still underpaid. In the in Bayonetta is a is a guaranteed hundred million copy seller for Nintendo. Um, apparently, the person uh uh had like had broken down and i wanted to like to go she's broken down after she asked for a six-figure salary which i personally feel was um appropriate um and we have an update um bayonetta's original board of disputes claims that she only asked for a fair level wage helena taylor's issued a statement addressing people calling me a liar and a gold digger uh Helen Taylor, the original voice actor for Platinum Games Bayonetta, was one of the parties at the center of a prolonged messy public dispute over casting and wages. It says, Tonight issued a statement addressing allegations that have been made against her over the past week. The saga, which has seen claims of payment under ma underpayment made, which is true, every voice actor is underpaid, voice actors abused, and a prominent developer temporarily disappeared from Twitter. To be fair, that developer did deserve it. He, the 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 developer, at, the lead developer at Platinum Games, was a right dickhead. Cause anybody that doesn't je speak Japanese insects and uh, it's frankly just not a good human being and a, not a moral and, and good human being, so good riddance. Um, began when Taylor made a series of recent videos where she includes Platinum Games offering her an insultingly low offer to reprise her role as Bayonetta for the upcoming third game. And I would argue that it is that, that whether it's 4K period or, or 4K per session with, a, with, with, with five sessions guaranteed, that's still insultingly low. Like that's twenty grand. That is twenty grand. Like you, like I understand that a lot of people like are taking what in question what she's saying into thing. Like the facts of the matter are still fucked in my personal opinion. Just because like she, just because she wasn't completely clear in stating it was four K period. That like they offered me four K, not per like. She made just because she made it seem that it came off as 4K period, not 4K per session. Still, still, I, I think it's grossly inappropriate, you know. Because here's the thing: if you're gonna get, if you're gonna like pay, if if it's if if, if I think, like if you're if if like I think that if the devel a developer is going to make a hundred K over the course over the course of developing this game, I think it is fair that a voice actor should be able to get 100k for literally being the fucking character, you know? So I'm... That's just me. Um... Taylor wrote a series of tweets disputing some of the figures in these reports. This comes to my attention that people call me a liar and a gold digger. I need to defend myself for the decision industry. As I posted in, in part three of my video thread, I explained that their first offer was too low. The first offer was $1,000 total. Remember when this is a $450 million franchise. Remember that. And then I wrote in, in Japanese to Hideo Kadima asking for what I was worth. I thought that I was creative, that as a creative, he would understand. He replied saying how much he valued my contribution to the game. And how much fans would want me to voice it? I replied saying, and then I was offered an extra fifty, uh, uh, five thousand. Note this appears as a typo. Taylor means five thousand. So I declined to voice the game, and then I heard nothing from them for eleven months. They offered me a flat fee to voice the months for four that four grand. Any any other lies such as the four thousand for five sessions are total fabrications. These were not extensive negotiations. I've also been informed of ridiculous fictions. Such as I asked for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I am a team player. I was just asking for a fair living wage in line with the value that I bring to this game. Okay, so people, so dickheads and platinum are going into damage control. Great, love to see it. Oh, I hope, I hope this gets resolved, and I hope that honestly she gets comes back to voice Vayanetta because this is, I think, deeply inappropriate on the side of platinum games.